Hello guys, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial channel. This is Randy from Ranch Graphics, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to create an ink background modern slideshow inside After Effects. So without any further ado, I'm gonna be showing you this. I'm using a 4K 3840 by 2160, 30 frames per second and 5 seconds duration. Click OK. I will right away grab the shape tool and make sure that the fill is none and the stroke is 125. And then double click your mouse to create a stroke like this. Go to effects and preset. Go to perspective, drop shadow, the distance 10 and the softness is about 20. Go back again to composition and create a new composition. This time we will name it placeholder 1. same 4k 3840 by 2160 click ok and i will go to my project panel open the project assets open the image and i will drop this image down into my timeline and press s on my keyboard for the scale and i will scale it up just enough to fit with my artboard go to composition and create a new composition this time i will name it image one click ok then i will drop down this frame one and then the placeholder one now we have a nice frame on our image right so now i will go to composition and create a new composition i will name it text one click ok grab the text tool and type ink background modern slideshow center it highlight this text again and change the font here to 120 i'm using beyond the mountains font and regular i will just move it on this side i think that should be good enough code of this color is e8 ffab click ok next i'm gonna go to composition create a new composition and i will name it media one same 4k five seconds duration click ok Then drop down this image one. Then text. Go to your panel and open this footage here. And drop down this footage into your timeline. Press P on your keyboard for the position and Shift R for the rotation. You can see here if you will scrub or play it, it's animating right. So rotate it to 45 degrees. Go to edit and duplicate it. Press P on your keyboard for the position and Shift R for the rotation. And then just move it a bit depending on your choice. And then change the color if you want. Go to generate fill. Change the color to something like that. Duplicate it again. Press P on your keyboard for the position. Move it. Now I will highlight all these three layers and pre-compose it. Then press P on my keyboard for the position. I will just put it on the other side. And then I will go to edit and duplicate it. Press P on my keyboard for the position. Drag it on the left side and drag it up. As you can see here that there is no texture on our frame so I have to go back to my frame 1 and open this texture and I will drop down this element into my timeline. Right click my mouse, go to transform, fit to comp and then change the track mat here to alpha mat. 
if you can see this one you just toggle the switches mode here so now when we take a closer look there is a little bit of a texture in our frame so again i will go back to media one i will close this first drop down this element into my timeline and again i will right take my mouse and go to transform and i want it fit to comp then pre-compose it right away move all the attributes into the new composition click ok i will enable the 3d layers here and also the motion blur then i will go to layer create a new camera i'm using 35 mm camera click ok and i will go back to layer create a new null object I want this null object a 3D layer and I will also turn on the motion blur and then parent the camera to the null object. Press P on your keyboard for the position and shift R for the rotation. Now I will create a keyframe here by hitting the stopwatch on the Z rotation and also the position. Then go my playhead to about one second and I will move this keyframe on that duration and move my playhead back to the beginning of my timeline and change the Z position probably 1141 also I will change the rotation here to 9 then I will go my playhead forward to about 3 seconds create a keyframe move forward to maybe 20 frames change the value here on your z rotation 9 and the y value change it to 3700 and go back to layer create a new null object make this a 3d layer and parent this null object 2 to null object 3 and turn on the motion blur in here Press P on your keyboard for the position, move your playhead probably at the beginning of the timeline, create a keyframe here, and move your playhead to about 3 seconds, change your Z position to something about negative 90, highlight this element, and press S on your keyboard for the scale, I will just scale it up, probably this one is good, so now go to composition, create a new composition, I will name it main one. Still 4K, 3840 by 2160, 30 frames per second and 5 seconds duration, click OK. I will go to my project panel and drop down this media one into my timeline. And I will go back again to my assets folder and go to footage, open it up. I will drop down this ink footage into my timeline. I will right away pre-compose it, move all the attributes into the new composition, click OK and toggle switches in here, make this both a 3D layer, go to my active camera, change this to top, I will just move this background a bit farther from the camera, probably here and then go back again to active camera, click on my keyboard S to scale it up. I think that should be good enough, now I will create a new folder and I will name it scene 1. I will highlight all these compositions and drag it down to my scene 1 folder and then I will create another folder and I will name it scene 2. I will open the scene 1 folder and highlight all the compositions in here then go to edit and duplicate it and then drag these duplicated compositions into my scene 2 folder. Close the scene 1, delete these compositions in here. then double click these compositions to open it up so we will go first on the placeholder delete this image then open your polar assets go to your image and drop down this image into your timeline press s on your keyboard to scale it down press p for the position and just drag it a bit down like that and go to your image press alt and hold it and change this placeholder 1 to placeholder 2 and this frame 1 change it to frame 2 just in case later on you will change that frame so you are guaranteed that it will not affect the scene 1 folder okay and then open the media 2 and then you also have to change all the compositions in here from image 1 change it to image 2 and then the text 1 to text 2 the pre comp 1 change it to pre comp 2 the element comp change it to element 2 
right highlight these two compositions and press p on your keyboard for the position reposition these two elements here it's actually depending on your choice to where you want it to be so probably it's good enough you can scale it up or scale it down it's up to you guys in this tutorial i'll just make it this way then i will go to the text open it up and change this text here double click your mouse change it to stylish now open the main two change the compositions in here from media one change it to media two by pressing your keyboard alt and hold it and then drag down this media two to replace the media one also the ink change it so now we will go to composition and create a new composition i will name it final click ok i will open the scene one folder and i will drop down this main one and also the main two i will drop it down and go to about three seconds and 20 frames and click open bucket key to move the main two layer i will go back to composition and i will open this composition settings i have to change this duration to 10 seconds click ok and i will open my footage and drop down this rg bouquet into my timeline pre-compose it right away move all the attributes into the new composition i will toggle switches mode in here change the blending mode to screen so let's try to play it let's see what happens nice eh go to layer and create a new solid i will name it fade out and i will click ok and i will press t on my keyboard for the opacity move your player to about 8 seconds duration and i will create a keyframe in here and change the value here to 0 and then move my player to about 8 seconds and 15 frames and make this 100% I'll just go back to the video one, click you on my keyboard to open the keyframes and I will just make this keyframes easy by pressing my keyboard F9 and also I will open the media one, press you on my keyboard to see the keyframes on the null object too and highlight all the keyframes. Press F9 to easy it and I will go back to the final and let's see what happens. So now our tutorial is done i hope guys that you learned something on it and for those people who subscribe my channel thank you very much and for those who have not yet subscribing my channel subscribe now and press like comment and press the notification bell so that you will be notified to all the videos that i'm gonna be uploading and my thoughts for today guys is that success is not an accident it is the outcome of your perseverance and hard work learning and sacrifice and most of all the love of doing it so thank you very much guys for watching and see you next time god bless us all